if you are new in germany and you go to supermarket to buy milk whether it's rewe lidl or kaufland choosing a suitable milk for you might be pretty confusing in this video you will learn how to stop buying wrong milk in germany by knowing types of milk available in the market milk is called milch in german frische milk means fresh milk which comes in 1.5% and 3.5% of fat and which has relatively less validity so the next one is haldbar milch means durable milk it comes in 1.5% and 3.5% of fat it is stored at the room temperatures and the validity of this milk is somewhere in between 3 to 4 months so the next one is haldbar of whole milch means the whole milk this milk comes in 1.5% and 3.5% of fat which is stored at room temperatures and the validity of this milk is somewhere in between 3 to 4 months so the next one is entramter milch means skimmed milk which comes in 0.1% fat it can be also stored at room temperature and the validity of this milk is also somewhere in between 3 to 4 months next one is plant based milk which comes in 1.8% of fat and which can be stored at the room temperatures like the other milks and the validity of this milk is also somewhere in between 3 to 4 months next one is lactose free means lactose free for the lactose intolerant people it comes in 1.5% and 3.5% of fat and the validity of this milk is also 3 to 4 months and which is stored at the room temperatures so the last one for today is uh, saigon milk means goat milk it comes in 1.5% and 3% of fat it is also stored at the room temperature and the validity of this milk is somewhere around 3 to 4 months so the key thumb rule here is if you find the milk stored in the refrigerators like this then it's a fresh milk and if you find the milk stored in the racks outside the refrigerators then it's a durable milk for more topics like these living and working in germany Don't forget to follow Globe Pravasi